Hello, this is a tutorial on how to install uh, NL Radar. And what you want to do is you're going to want to go and download Miniconda from uh, this link I put in the description. In this instance, you see me going straight to the link, but you're going to want to go through. Don't change anything, just click through everything next, 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 and you should be fine. So for this, I have opened the NLR and the NL radar page in order to get all the codes. You do not have to do this. I have everything seen for you in the description. However, I will leave a link to it if you want to use that instead of me. But I have just one, two, three, four steps for you. So here we get it done. Uncheck all those. You don't have to worry about it. Open the mini conda prompt like so, and you're going to want to paste in conda create dash n nl radar python equals 3.8 and then do y when it pops up. And y and it'll download. So the next thing you want to do is type in conda activate nl radar. Now you're going to be on NL radar. So now you want to type in conda install dash C anaconda git to install the git module. And then you press yes on the keyboard. Now that that's done, you're going to put in git clone HTTPS colon forward slash slash github.com forward slash bram94 forward slash nl radar dot git so now it's in you want to do cd nl radar and you're going to want to put in pip install space dot and then this is the longest install of the whole process since i just skipped to it you're going to want to type in cd python files And then type in python nlr.py and then it should just open the application. To start NLR radar, this is how you do it. After the installation process is done, you go and you open your anaconda prompt. You type in conda activate nlr radar. So now you got nlr radar. So you do cd nlr or nl NL radar, sorry, CD Python underscore files, and then Python NLR.py, and it should execute normally. Once it is open, it should always, for some reason, start on Belgium. However, if you're looking at United States, you really don't care about that. So you're going to go over here and click on the site you want. And then you're going to right click with your mouse and click automatic downloading for whatever station. So in this instance, it's San Antonio. You can see, wow, there's convection stuff going on. If you want to look at the vertical wind profiles, you click right here. Uh, if you want to add multiple frames to your screen, you hold alt and click the number on the keyboard you want. So I want four panels and all of this stuff will load. Uh, I, I'm not gonna do a full rundown of this. A lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. You can see it here under help while this is loading. See, there you go, you get your four panel display. A lot of this stuff is in the help menu, so if you can find it if you look hard enough in here, but it's all in here for you. This is the end of the tutorial. There's nothing else for me to say except for have a good evening.